Hi. Hey guys, it's Tyler Rollinson and welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Charlton. Today we're going to be talking about Charlton's performance against Milton Keynes Dons last weekend, an update on Stephen Mavadidi and a statistical analysis on our next game against Shrewsbury Town. So on Saturday, Charlton come away with the three points against relegation threatened Milton Keynes Dons, winning by two goals to one when it should have been a whole lot more. Looking at the team sheet to that game, and I have to say, I'm actually quite impressed with the squad that he put out there. Patrick Bauer obviously keeps his position in the starting eleven, which was good news. Joe Aribo replaced Mark Marshall, and I was delighted to see Aribo back in the team because I feel like he needs game time. Robinson did claim that he was unlucky to lose his position, but I think he's got to stay there because he's playing well in games. But I was a bit concerned that Ben Reeves was in the starting eleven because of an injury. Obviously, Fossil got injured, which was a bit unfortunate for that game. And Reeves came in. I was a bit concerned that Reeves started but actually Reeves put in a shift in that game and did very well as did the rest of the team. So overall it was a very dominant victory for Charlton. Ahmed Kashi capitalised on a terrible defensive mistake from Milton Keynes Dodds and hit an absolute pile driver from outside the box to nick his second goal of the season and his second goal in four games. And Charlton continued to press. Ben Reeves had some very good chances. Uh, had a very good, decent shot outside the box and just missed to the left. In the second half, Charlton come out guns blazing and Josh McGuinness nicked his third goal in four. Uh, and, and he's eighth of the season. He becomes our top goal scorer now. Josh McGuinness has certainly improved his form. I told you that he needed consistency in order to stay in this team. And he's done that and he's proven himself well. So... If he can keep this going, he will certainly be a threat to the end of the season. And then Charlton did have a scare towards the end of the game when Milton Keynes Dons got an equaliser straight after from a corner. Kieran Agard scoring. That's his third goal against us this season. But Charlton did have many chances to make it at least 3 or 4-1 when Joe Arebo also hit the post very late in the game which was quite unfortunate, but Charlton come away with the three points, deservedly so. So in the league, because Bradford City weren't playing, Charlton restored their position in the playoffs, moving into sixth place. We are five points behind Scunthorpe, I think, because we needed Scunthorpe to lose to Northampton, and they went behind twice, but ended up drawing 2-2. And Plymouth Argyle, what a turnaround they've had this season. Back in December, they were bottom of the league. They're now seventh, and they are making a late promotion charge. They are going to threaten us a lot. We have to play them at the Valley. I hope to go to that game as well because that will be a very entertaining game. But we're in the playoffs because Bradford couldn't play. We need to stay in that position for as long as we possibly can because a lot of people have been saying that we're playing like we deserve to be there. Bradford City have entered some terrible form recently and we've taken advantage of that form despite not beating them in midweek, which is a bit I'm a bit frustrated about that. But it is what it is, and Charlton are back in the playoffs now, and we just need to hold on to that. And Shrewsbury will present a massive test to stay there. So just before the MK Dons match, Charlton provided an update on the injury of Stevi Mavadidi. And recently it did say that Mavadidi was going to be out for about eight weeks, pretty much ending his season, because it would bring him back at the beginning of April. So that would pretty much be him trying to compete in the starting eleven again, despite him being top class for us so far. But they updated it and they said that he should be fit ready in four weeks' time, which means he'll be missing probably similar times and he'll be back just before the end of March. So this is good news for the fact that Mavadidi season has not come to an end based on what happened last year. But Mavadidi, I think, is a crucial part of this squad. I said he was going to help us out a lot in promotion and he's been proving that by scoring a few decent goals. He's looked so promising this season and he's a vital part to our team. Despite not playing well on loan at Preston North End, he is shining in League One and we need him in this team. But it's obviously good news that he's not going to be out for the rest of the season and I look forward to seeing him back in the team. What do you think? Is Stevie Mavadidi a vital part to our team? Do you think he should still be in the starting eleven over Ben Reeves or the likes of Joe Rebo? What do you think? Leave in the comment section below. But Stevie Mavadidi, return soon and we should be okay in him to help us in our promotion charge. So on Saturday, it is football for a fiver at the Valley against league leaders Shrewsbury Town. Now, Charlton have just ended their three-game dropping point spree, obviously against Milton Keynes Dons, while Shrewsbury lost to Rotherham, who are in spectacular form so far. So if Shrewsbury had been beaten by Rotherham, 
this means that they will be slightly hit after losing their unbeaten run, which was, I think it lasted about three or four games. So not the best unbeaten run in the world, but it's still an unbeaten run. And Charlton are now unbeaten in three after drawing to Doncaster and Bradford, to which we dropped points in, and then obviously on Saturday. This will be our toughest challenge this season besides the Wigan game. It will be a big challenge. We haven't played them this season because obviously our game in Shrewsbury got called off for many reasons. I think it was because of an FA Cup clash, then a Checker Trade Trophy clash. Like we just kept getting the match postponed and that game is still, I think it's in the beginning of March or the end of this month. I'm not too sure. But this will be a challenge and this will def and this also puts our playoff place under threat again. I mean, it obviously is under threat anyway because Bradford still have to play a game. They've got a game in hand, but they're playing Wigan. So that will be a tough challenge for them. But this will be a really, really good test of what our team's made of. It's just about seeing what the Charlton squad is more than cap is capable of. We know what this squad is capable of when we were battering teams at the start of the season. But Shrewsbury will be a very entertaining game and quite a closely fought one. In terms of score predictions for the game, I don't actually know the outcome of the game. I mean, Shrewsbury obviously losing to a team like Rotherham. I mean, Rotherham are in brilliant form, obviously. Um, it's quite a difficult one to call, you know, but I think I'm going to be a bit negative on this one, guys, and I do think that Shrewsbury are going to win. What? I hate making negative predictions because it just... Knowing Charlton, it obviously will end up happening, but I'm going to unfortunately say that Charlton are going to lose 2-1. You're too negative! I think it will be a 2-1 win to Shrewsbury, again, obviously negative, but it is Shrewsbury at the end of the day. They are a very good side and deservedly so should be top of the league by the way they've been playing, but Wigan and Blackburn are closing in massively. As I said in previous video, or in the comment section of many videos, it's going to be a very dramatic end to this season. Shrewsbury and Charlton, obviously two teams gunning for promotion. It will be a tough test, but I think Charlton are going to lose this one, unfortunately. So that is it for today's episode of Let's Talk Charlton. But before this video ends, I just want to address something, a little bit of an announcement. So as I'm someone who is aspiring to enter the world of sports media, I feel like that not only should I be reporting on Charlton, my supporting club, because let's face it, if I'm going to enter the world of this open world of sports, if you will, then I obviously won't be reporting on Charlton all the time. And I would like to, me personally, I'm actually quite interested in pursuing and talking about other things to do with football. So what would you guys think if I was to start talking about other things, other things surrounding football other than Charlton? For example, the Premier League quite interested in this sort of area and would like to talk about other clubs other than Charlton and maybe gain a little bit of a following through there. Um, I actually did go to Tottenham Hotspur versus West Ham um, in the er in early January, I think January 4th. It was my first game at Wembley and I was debating whether or not to vlog the game and I decided not to vlog it because obviously I just put the Gillingham video up and to date that's my highest viewed video on this YouTube channel and from that point on I started to gain a rather small following, if you will, based on that video and I decided that I'm a Charlton channel and I decided to not to not make a vlog and I regret doing it because I feel like I should have addressed this earlier really I feel like that I wanted to do other things other than Charlton so what would you feel about me reporting on other things than Charlton on this channel or would you rather me doing it on another channel let me know give me feedback about what you want to see because I am I may be going to more Tottenham games in the future obviously Wembley and things like that so I'm interested in doing it and I think I could be going to those games as well so what would you like to see would you like to see me do that would you not want me to see you do that and you would like me to continue Charlton what do you want what do you want me to do leave a comment down below and I'll see what you think as I say that is it for this episode of Let's Talk Charlton leave a comment down below on the following topics how you felt we played against MK Dons um, Avadidi being a vital part your score prediction against Gillingham let me know about that and also of course the channel announcement do you want me to go further than Charlton and talk about other things related with football this has been Tyler Rodinson have a nice day and I'll see you all later